Coming up, we meet an artist who makes amazing music from tins and table legs. Amazingly, recycling one tin can saves enough energy to power a TV for three hours. And I have a feeling that will be sweet music to the guy I'm about to meet. Teddy plays in a band with his friends Lamar and Charlie. He wants something that will make their sound unique. But what can he use without spending money on expensive instruments? OK, Teddy, so uh, what's been going on? I've been in my band for a while now, and we've been looking for a new sort of sound. What are you going to use for this new sound? I don't know what we're going to use, but I mainly play the drums, so anything around that. OK, and have you got any cash? No, we're not making any money at the moment, so it needs to be a minimal cost. I think I know someone who's going to inspire us, someone who makes new music out of old things. Check this out. I'm John Free and I make musical instruments. Today I'll show you how to make a guitar from an old biscuit tin and a table leg. As well as selling the guitars I make, I also play in a band. And we play gigs most weekends. To start with, I'll take this table leg, and this is going to form the neck of the guitar. I've made a few markings here, so I need to cut a section from the leg here, which is where the, the tin, which will form the body of the guitar, is going to sit. Uh, this is hard work. There we are. Oh, look at that. So I've roughly removed this section of wood from here and I'm going to reserve those bits of wood for use later on. I just want to check that this tin, this is the tin I'm going to use for the body of this guitar, that it will fit nicely in there. Yes, that looks like it's starting to take shape. So next, I just need to plane off a bit of this to shape the headstock where the tuning pegs will sit. This belt sander is a real time saver. You can do the same job with just a bit of sandpaper, but it'll take hours and hours and hours. John Free is an expert craftsman. Let's leave it to the professionals. So there I've turned a discarded table leg into a what will be a guitar neck. Now I need to drill the holes for the tuning pegs. So now the tuners have been installed. Uh, I've put some strings on. They're held at the other end by this penny, just clamping them on. So it can turn to the tin, which is going to form the body. Cut a little section here where the neck will go through. It's going to go in one end and out the other. Obviously, I'm being very careful as I do this. These are very sharp tools. And there's some very sharp edges of metal here. I just slide that in there. As you close it up, that's pretty much ready to go. It just needs a, a bridge here that supports the strings and transmits the vibrations to this nice tin. I'm going to take one of the blocks of wood from earlier uh, that was cut out from the neck. I want to install a fret along the top. Cut off a length of fret wire, pop it in that slot. This fret gives a nice hard surface for the strings to sit on. Come around there. You never know quite how they're going to sound. All tins sound different. Different sizes have different resonances. And this one... This one sounds like that. Don't be scared to try unusual objects. You just don't know what sound something might make. I didn't know a sea cabin trunk might make the same sound as a double bass until I'd tried it. Amazing what sounds you can make from old table legs, biscuit tins and suitcases. And a great way to get things started as we find a new sound for Teddy's band.